Horns have long been a symbol of protection, leadership, self-mastery, and the transition into adulthood, the coming of age. The twisting and branching nature of horns can provide an important clue as to their true symbolic significance. From an energetic and physiological standpoint, horns represent the subtle, sacred, universal energy and its powers of protection and fertility. In the animal kingdom, this powerful force manifests itself as the twisting horns of the ram, the branching antlers of the stag, and the arcing horns of the bull. In the human world, they signify the culmination of the great work and the correct conservation of the creative energy. They represent a confirmation of the heightened spiraling life force and its journey along the spinal column and into the head center, and its exit through the skull as metaphorical horns of shining, radiant energy. The stag is a perfect symbol of these creative forces and their physical manifestation within the natural world. To our animist ancestors, all of nature was a beautiful expression of the universal energy, and the stag, with its magnificent antlers, is the ideal embodiment of this natural force. The stag represents strength, vigilance, fertility, and virility. It is a symbol of the creative energy, and its antler has been used as a sign of power and prowess since ancient times. Like a branch of an old oak tree in a strike of forked lightning, the beautiful antler of a fully grown stag perfectly encapsulates the all-encompassing and awe-inspiring universal force. Our pagan forebears were fully aware of these subtle connections and saw the antler as the physical expression of the powerful forces they felt running through their nervous system when working with the sacred creative energy. The famous Greek hero Heracles is said to have captured the golden-horned hind in the third of his famous labors. This female deer was larger than a bull with the antlers of a stag. She had hooves made of bronze and the ability to snort fiery flames from the depths of her belly. This enchanting mythical deer is often likened to the reindeer of the far north, as the reindeer is the sole deer species in which females also grow antlers. In Norse lore, four stags are thought to graze among the high branches of the world tree, Yggdrasil. The morning dew is said to gather on their antler and thus create the freshwater rivers of the world. In Celtic tradition, the white stag is a sign that the other world or spirit world is near. In Welsh mythology, the white stag appears to Pulk when he peers through the veil into the other world. The magnificent white stag, also connected to the mythical unicorn, has long been considered a powerful symbol of initiation. This majestic creature was known to appear before the brave knights of Arthurian legend, serving as a sign that they were ready to embark on their perilous quests. With its snow-white coat and graceful antlers, the white stag is a truly awe-inspiring sight, evoking a sense of wonder and adventure in all who behold it. In the Welsh language, and please do excuse my pronunciation, a term for a stag is caicaeg, and this can be connected to the word for cockerel, caeliog, and both may take their root from the Welsh term for the male reproductive glands, the gonads or testicles, kike. This, of course, relates directly to the creative force and its manifestation within living beings, like in the beautiful antler of the majestic stag and the colourful crest of the grand and noble cockerel. The bull is another animal whose attributes and characteristics have been used in the legends and lore of our subtle and wise ancestors. In Greek mythology, Zeus, the god of thunder, transforms into a bull to seduce the Phoenician princess Europa. From their union, Minos, the king of Crete, 
and with him the Minoans, one of the earliest European civilizations, were born. Interestingly, the Minoans had an ancient tradition of jumping the bull. The Mithraic mysteries, well known for their secrecy and initiatory rites, are centered around the slaying of a symbolic bull, and this ancient mystery tradition is steeped in both astronomical and anatomical allegory. The Egyptian mother goddesses Hathor and Isis were known as the Cow of Heaven. Both Hathor and Isis are often depicted with the horns of a bull encompassing the solar orb. Their link to the Cow of Heaven is thought to represent fertility, nourishment, devotion, nurturing, nature, and the power of receptivity. The Zoroastrian saviour figure Zarathustra is said to have been nourished by a heavenly cow, and the Norse creation story tells of the nurturing of the god Emir by a divine, universal, female bovine. In Welsh lore, the dream of Ronabwy explains how the protagonist sleeps on the skin of a golden ox. Here he has his vision and enters the other world. The ox, a castrated bull, is a symbol of chastity and therefore the universal creative energy and its manifestation within the human body. The bull, like the stag, is a symbol of virility, strength, protection and fertility. The horns of the bull have been venerated since time immemorial and their importance in ancient culture cannot be overstated. In the same way, the ram or goat is a horned animal whose appearance in our myths and traditions may hold some anatomical and energetic significance. In the Greek legend of the Argonautica, Jason and the Argonauts attain the golden fleece of the flying golden ram Chrysomalos, and in Norse lore, the thunder god Thor is pulled in his chariot by a pair of magical goats. In Egypt, the creator god Kunum, who is said to fashion humanity on his potter's wheel, is depicted with the head of a ram. Alexander the Great claimed to be a child of Zeus Ammon and even depicted himself with the horns of a ram on ancient coins. From a physiological standpoint, the curling horns of the ram represent the spiraling structures at the center of the brain known as the hippocampus. Also known as Ammon's horn, these vital anatomical components sit on the floor of the lateral ventricles. They are bathed in cerebral spinal fluid and play a critical role in our ability to learn, memorize, and express ourselves through emotional response and interaction. In the traditional medicine of the Far East, antler and horn roots are used to heal and invigorate due to the belief in the chi or life energy that spurs their growth. Like the twisting horns of a ram, the gallbladder meridian of the Eastern Energy Meridian System curls around the ear at the side of the head. Applied pressure to these sensitive points on the skull can help alleviate pain and stiffness and help circulate the conserved creative energy. Some may find this entertaining, but the well-known horn's hand gesture can be utilized as an anatomical tool to help apply pressure and leverage to difficult-to-reach energy centers around the human body. A whole playlist of videos will be dedicated to this concept in future releases from the Arwen Spring YouTube channel. Horns have been a symbol of the life force since ancient times, and our animist ancestors saw them as a physical manifestation of the sacred force. They knew that the protection and power that the antlers and horns offered the animals was synonymous with the effects attained when they worked with their own creative energy, the sexual energy, the life force. When the creative force is preserved and drawn up along the spinal column, enlivening and regenerating the body as it goes, it reaches the head center where the inner chamber is lit and the energy exits the head 
as metaphorical horns of shining, radiant light. Growing the antlers of the stag or the horns of the bull or ram is an ancient analogy to the mastery of the human nervous system. It represents the awakening of the human mind and the attainment of true human potential.